preview, I'll be teaching you guys how to create that cool camera shutter effect in After Effects. This tutorial will be suited for beginner editors as well as directors who don't know how to edit. So let's dive straight into this tutorial with no bullshit. Also, if you're on Premiere Pro, it's the same steps. So use your brand and follow along. Yeah, Make sure yes you guys subscribe, hit yes that like button. Let's get right into this video. Okay, now that we're in the composition, this is my clip. Once again, I am using another LaserDim video. Nothing new, but um, yeah. So this is my clip right here. Basically, the camera shutter effect, as you've probably seen on some of George Buford's videos, I saw it from the You Think You're the Fart music video from iSpice, and I fell in love with the effect. And yeah, here I am giving you that sauce. So let's jump straight into it. So basically here, we have the clip you know what you're gonna need is screenshots or pictures so if you get sent pictures from the video shoot perfect if you don't have that just take screenshots make sure the face is has enough space from the top and the bottom left and right make sure it's decently sized in the middle just like that and you can use however many screenshots you want to use i probably use around six seven ish so after you get the screenshots from your clip basically what you want to do next is bring them on to your composition i have all my screenshots so now basically they're just screenshots from the video as you see just like that so what i'm gonna do now i'm going to move these a couple frames back for the first one basically what i'm gonna do is actually wait a minute i'm gonna change my comp to 2000 by 1500 just because it looks better with this effect in my opinion it does look pretty cool once you have all your screenshots down to resize the photos and make sure they're all positioned at the same point what i'm gonna do is open up my effects and presets panel and type transform go here so this anchor point is the middle of the screen and basically what we're gonna do is make sure his nose is on that anchor point meaning when the pictures flicker his nose will be all in the in the middle and it'll just it'll be centered photos flickering through as you see in the preview in order to do that we're gonna mess with the scale and position bring it down just like that and his nose is centered that's perfect now we just do that for the rest of the images like that we can scale this in even more next photo same like that scale it in nose right there next photo and so on and so forth now once you're finished what i like to do is make pre-comp layers i'm going to make a pre-comp layer for all of these images basically because if you don't you'll have all this space and when you do the transitions you have all this access area from the image and we obviously do not want that so all you gotta do is just go one by one pre-comp i'm gonna title this picture one picture two picture three and yeah i'll be back when i'm finished okay now we got all the stuff in a pre-comp so now as you see look at this it cuts off right in the bottom perfect just like that now we're gonna move these over there now to start the shutter effect and open our position now we're gonna enable this clock right here and we're gonna go a couple keyframes like that we're gonna start it coming from the top so we're gonna hold shift and move up to all the way to the top just like that so now it's two frames so well three one two three just like that now we're gonna highlight over them right click keyframe assistant easy ease go into your graph editor on the left side you're going to be on the speed graph if you aren't on the speed graph make sure you're on the speed graph not the value graph speed we're going to highlight this hold shift move it to the left same with this one move it to the left just like that so just like that boom perfect now for the next clip we're going to start it off one frame before so not on top of it go one just like that perfect now we're the same thing three keyframes but instead of this coming from the top it'll come from the bottom just like that now we're going to highlight it again easy ease graph and do the same thing just like that now to speed this up basically just go like that copy the bottom one boom hit you to see the keyframe move the next photo one frame ahead copy the second image paste it there just like that and just do it for everything else just like this and now if you have a, a spot where you want to finish but you are too far away from it all you can easily do is just copy the first frame again and just you know use it for this one simple just like that and now it's just like that this is what it looks like without the motion blur pretty trash you know pretty uh terrible if you ask me now what we're gonna do is add the motion blur so we're just gonna highlight over that just like that perfect now what we're gonna do to make this look even better we're gonna add a color grading on these screenshots now you can literally do whatever you like i'm going to be using lumetri color so what you're gonna do is double click back to your pre-comp make an adjustment layer go into your effects and presets and type lumetri color now you guys can literally mess with the color correction you know brightness contrast usually i would in the preview clip i did use a custom lut 
but yeah after you get your preset what you want to do is copy the adjustment layer and go to every other you know pre-comp again and then just paste it so all the pictures will be colored now now once we go back to our original comp you'll see they have the color and that's what they look like now what we're gonna do is add a transform again so make an adjustment layer move it above on top of all of these pre-comps effects and presets transform animate the scale go to the end keyframe and put this to like 109 so basically it'll be zooming in like that but if you want more of a zoom in this is what we can do see it's zooming in you can also you can add a radio blur that'll add that motion zoom in blur so make this zero click the clock sign on uh, click the clock sign on a mount go back to the end and put this to 10 and you'll get this look just like that and now for the cherry on top we're gonna add the sound effect i will be supplying the sound effect down below we're gonna use this just like that just like this put that there perfect just make sure you cut it just make sure you cut it to the appropriate length and now this is what you get obviously you can probably sync this better and also with the you know the final touch of the song see how like it's great see holding the grudge see how like it's great see holding the grudge perfect and that's how you make this uh camera shutter effect it's pretty simple looks very clean i would use this in my videos a lot don't overdo it though because then it'll just get oversaturated but this is a very unique and nice effect to add to your videos like i said this is beginner friendly for directors and editors if you guys did find this tutorial helpful and you are going to use this in your videos i would appreciate it if you guys can leave a like on this video subscribe if you're new leave comments for tutorials you want to see next and i'll catch you in the next one peace out